welcome. How lovely to see so many friendly and familiar faces. This has been a dream of mine for a great many years. And as all of you know, I am less primitive the signs of the respectable Al Chandra and the Daddy. But with a small bottle of wine. It's just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazi. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now, what is his business here? Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. Greetings, sir. I will have to pad you down if you're coming this way, sir. This is just standard procedure. Just a formality. Right, that's it. Keep moving, please. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. 
consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. Sure, we passed plenty of places where we. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Mr. Cassie, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. Oh, wait. We have Ingram second. right where we right want back. him. Please make yourself 47, you know what to do. To see the view. It's something to behold. I'm sorry about that. Now, where were we? Now I know. My man here will stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. Ah, a drink. Good idea. I think I'll join you. Now, as I was saying... Al <coughs> Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. Thank you. 
Listen. I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. And there's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. It looks like the staff area could pro provide you with a viable route to the server room. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. Which is to date the tallest building in the world. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Sheikh Al-Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. calendar function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. 
All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. Damn it. A silent alarm has been tripped. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. Sorry about that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? Ah, I think I've got it. We'll need a keycard to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. done something. Can you see anything different in the room? Good. We're in. Now all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. It looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Handy. Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this, 47. Cameras are showing a lot of guards up here. They wouldn't suspect one of their own, though. Hey, how you doing? might have a possible disturbance. I'm moving to investigate. We'll keep you posted. I will just wait for the partners to be alone. The partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. I've known this man for a long time. He wouldn't call us up here without good reason. I trust his people will have... What's this? Carl? Did you do that? I Alright, 
That's that then. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. 47. Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town. who died doesn't sound promising. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. gonna make me look really bad. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. My new guard was here. Okay, you must be my new escort. I have very high standards and trust you will do your duty. You have your credentials on you? Well, this all looks very promising. Yes, good. Oh! You worked for Darwood Rangan. Hope you weren't there on the day of his tragic death. Okay, this all looks very good. Come on, let's walk. Need to tell you a bit about what I expect from you. I expect you to be by my side 24 seven, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are of course permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important and delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife, and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. 
Have you ever tried to cut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. But with a knife? No. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. But with a knife? No. That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here. I don't want to see your face again. Let's just hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. 